Hi, welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Ralph Nunchuck Baducci. Now, once again, I'm not sure why they put the full name. It probably has something to do with losing the rights to the name Nunchuck, which I would think is probably pretty generic. But either way, we do have this figure here. Just got him in Sergeant Reds here in Utica, Michigan. And here I picked up my first uh, nunchuck when I was out in New Jersey, out at Zaps Comics. So anyway, both pretty good places. Obviously, one I was there for work. The other one is my local store. And I'm really glad that John got this, posted it. So if you're interested, if you're in the area, they do have at least a few more. I saw a couple at the store. So anyway. Here we take a look at the figure. We have, again, the wonderful plastic-free <laughs> packaging, which I'm actually kind of disappointed we're going to lose, other than at least now we know when people swap toys. Uh, but you do have the background. I'm not really sure if it's an homage to anything. If you do know, tell me in the comments. I'd appreciate it. So anyway, the figure looks really nice. Here you have some more artwork, and then you have all of the weapons. Then here you have this, the side. They definitely make him look menacing. We have number... 80 i feel like we've been waiting forever now this is uh, a store exclusive for uh either a fan channel or your local toy store you're not going to find them at target walmart any place like that i know a lot of you are saying hey i don't find i don't find the gi joes there but that's not exactly true anyway here we go once again the figure everything that he does come with he stands at six inch 6.1 inches and again, this is how tall the actual figure is, not how tall he's supposed to be as a character. And then they just give you a few other things. So anyway, um, we are going to take a look at it. Let's get into this. We'll compare him to the O-ring and see if the camel and everything kind of does match. So anyway, let's get into this and get away from all of this. But again, if you like the content that I'm giving you and you like all this G.I. Joe stuff, take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I do drop a G.I. Joe video. All right, figures out of his package. And I do apologize for everything that's going on in the background. I really haven't had enough time to start organizing it so anyway here's the coffin and again you get the black and white and this one looks really good too i think a ninja looks really good in black and white especially with his uh green that he uses but like i said he looks like he's pretty menacing like he's ready to take on uh, a few bad people and then here we have uh, one of my least favorite things but anyway it says nunchuck upside down 80 is right side up the star which would be i believe upside down and then eight or is it eight anyway, you know my feelings on that <laughs> all right so let's just start off with this guy's weapons and it looks like they've tooled a bunch of new weapons for him and new um just all new weapons for him and it would have been nice to have some of this let's say with well you know who storm shadow so anyway we have nunchucks which let's be honest the guy definitely needs nunchucks as his name is Nunchuck. Now, these look to be the exact same. Luckily, they are pliable. Now, they are just super soft. Like, luckily, the handle looks like it will stay straight. But, to be honest, the whole thing is really flimsy. And that's just too bad. It, it really shouldn't be like that. But, it doesn't bother me all that much. Because it looks like the handle will stay straight. But, I feel like you could do a little bit more. Now, put some paint apps on it. Make the chain... Look, you know, put silver across the chain. That's really what they should have done. That's a little disappointing. He has two different claws. Now, quickly looking at them, they seem pretty straight. Straighter than a lot of the weapons they give us. You have the one that sticks out. Two shorter ones, so they're not exactly like, let's say, Wolverine claw. And here you can see he's actually going to hold on to them and grasp them like this. Now... They don't seem to have as, again, they're f they're flexible, and you'd expect that, but they're rigid. So you don't have to worry about them just being all warped and out of place. And I think they look pretty good. You know, you look at it there. Well, we dropped the first pair, so. Uh, but there's no paint apps. The light kind of makes it look like there's silver on it, but unfortunately, there is not. Now, again, this is something else you could have done something with. And you're going to kind of see here, 
when we get to the swords, because I can see there's paint on the swords. Here we have a nice little knife. Again, as I move it up, it actually <laughs> looks like there's uh, paint on it, but it's not. And this gray is just not, it doesn't look good. I'd rather everything just be in black. Now, this the knife is actually nice and stiff. Uh, not as stiff and rigid as I mentioned NECA, uh, Four Horsemen, Valiver, something like that. But very different than what we've seen before. You have the piece that's going to connect to his head. And I'm just see it looking at it. The bottom is brown. So there are some paint apps to this. So it does have a nice flow. And I'm going to guess... I don't know why that is. So, But there is a paint app to it. I think it's hard to see, at least from what I'm looking at. And this is just going to plug right in here. Just like uh, the back of Storm Shadow on his belt. So this can move freely. You can make it look like he's you know, maybe jumping, running in the wind. Or you can just make it so it's laying straight down. So now let's take a look at the swords. And they are the same. So quickly looking at them, they are straight. They're obviously curved. Now, if someone's going to tell me these aren't just swords, please, in the comments, tell me what kind of swords these are. So first off, it has a little bit of green here, which is obviously going to match, match his outfit, along with this gray that matches his outfit also. And then you have the silver blade. And I think this looks really nice. Now, you can see it's kind of flexible here. It doesn't bother me. It goes right back to where it needs to be. It has nice uh, serrated edges here. And then you obviously have your, uh, your blade that's, you know, that's going to cut right through. Nice design on the handle. They seem to really like to put little faces on the bottom, you know, back of their, some of their swords, their knives. They've done it with the Crimson Guard, with, uh, I believe, Storm Shadow has stuff like that. So I don't know what that is what they're doing, why, but they do it. All right, now let's take a look at this figure, and I do believe this is using most of Storm Shadow's body, which I'm perfectly fine with. He is a ninja, so let's just start with the articulation. I did just get him. He was not sent to me, so he shouldn't be that cold. Head does look down, kind of moves back and forth, side to side. Oof. Okay, so... It's not an issue getting the T-pose, but this plastic piece here, his little pauldrons here, are definitely going to be in the way, and they are solid. So you're not going to get a great T-pose. You're going to have to really fuss with this, move this around, and it's going to be hard to get this thing up into a T-pose, especially underneath his mask there. He does have butterfly joints, but do they go far enough over? And as I pointed out, they don't really do that much. They're there, but they're non-functional. Double pinless joints. And the elbows. I'm about to cough. And I'm fighting it. <coughs> <coughs> I lost that battle. <laughs> See, double, double elbows, pinless. Having a hard time bending one of the reasons why I have a hard time bending here is the pauldron seems to kind of get in the way a little bit so I can't put a lot of tension on it that way all right there we go so no heat has been needed yet but you are going to want to loosen him up I'm sorry that I hit the camera so you might need to hit him, hit him up with some heat make sure that thing is not fused together all right. Anyway, I will take a look at this before I finish my final. He's got the ab crunch here, and he is tight. So much better than Firefly, who we know was a problem. And he does pivot back and forth. Now, I don't really turn them all this much, so it's probably something I end up missing in my reviews. Oh, Jean-Claude is amazing. Drop down hips. He does kick forward. All right. Thigh swivel, 
And again, I go over all this because there's a lot of people that might just be getting into G.I. Joe. They don't know uh, all the different articulation. Now, the knee feels really good there. There you have your ankle rocker, thighs, your boot cut. Now, I'm definitely having a hard time getting him to bend at this knee here. Again, I'm going to heat him up. Because you don't want to be Superman and try and make it and force it. I'm kind of willing to do it because I'm doing these reviews. Okay, so I was able to get it to do it. I would suggest if you don't know uh, the strength of your figures and how, how hard they are to bend, that you want to heat it up. Uh, and I'm going to kind of go back to this elbow again. And... Yeah, so I'm going to heat this elbow up. I think I've seen where some figures have stuff fused, so I'm not going to mess with that right now. We're going to heat it up uh, before I do my final. All right, so here we have two spots for the swords. And <clears throat> they go right down. This sword, I, it just kind of stabbed me, and it didn't hurt me like a NECA, which those things really do hurt. But it felt really nice and stiff, which is good. Throw this in there. All right. So quickly, let's grab our nunchuck here, and we'll compare them. And it looks like he has a little bit of a different hat. Now he does have the soft goods here, which this is not soft. And I know a lot of people caught, you know, had issues with Dusty, but it doesn't really bother me all that much. Although it will definitely, I, don't know, I guess, this really doesn't affect him moving his head back and forth here. But it does look really nice here. I love that they put this piece here. It just adds a little bit to it. You can see the uh, the green camel. He doesn't have pauldrons here, but he does have the little pockets. And then he has the gauntlets, which look very similar, as you can see. How they look here, they're scaled. Well, these ones are also scaled. On the front here, you can see he has... Well, these are actually nunchucks inside. They gave him a knife instead because he's going to carry those. Uh, he's got a grenade up top. Is that a grenade? I'm not really sure what that is. It looks like they're little guns that are going to shoot. <laughs> but they gave him a grenade. Uh, again, the knife. It looks very similar, but it's not the exact same. Looking at the belt, they did recreate the belt from what I can see. Kind of has a rectangle uh, lock there where you kind of clamp it. The boots, again, they're gray, not that dark brown. Now, his knife is over here. Oh, you know what? That's what I kind of forgot. That these old ones were, um, they had ninja action move. This was after my time. That's why I didn't have ninja force. So his arm does this, which this one will not. But again, pauldron on the same side here. Uh, just the uh, just same as the other. But looking at this guy's face, eyes look really good. There's no paint up here. I really wish they would have done something here. Uh, just a little bit of different color in the bandana that he has or the sweatband, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but the eyes there, I think, look really good. The paint looks good. Again, you, you have the camouflage. You can see how the gi comes across. So I think this looks really nice. It was not my cup of tea, but I think looking at this figure, it is, uh, it's pretty impressive. All right, so let's start with just one claw, especially because we dropped one. It's going to kind of open his hands, and as you see here, he actually has the, uh, the Storm Shadow hands where they're split, so he can hold a knife in uh, two different spots if he wants. And... I think all we're going to do is open up this hand here and he's going to hold it like so so rather than it kind of clip on like the old storm shadow used to he's going to hold on to it and that's how you're going to kind of pose them in fighting uh spots and in the back here it looks like both nunchucks can fit on here so they are made to be flexible to bend and fit in there and we'll do that in a second and then we kind of throw the nunchuck in here. Now, again, very pliable. Very pliable. 
So it is going to move around, but again, even the handle just kind of bends. <laughs> you might as well be throwing a chain at someone with it being uh, that, that soft. And then we kind of, I would assume it's going to go upside and down. So once again, another figure that can hold everything. Of course, two of the claws are going to be on him. So his nunchucks just go right on like that. You got the sword that goes there. Again, looks really nice. And not hard to get into a pose. Now, again, I haven't even uh, haven't had a chance to really mess with anything. Let's pull this off and throw a sword on him. And see how the sword looks. Now, again, it is a short sword. Now, his wrists, let's see here, articulate, articulate up and down. So that is better for the sword action. So... If you have them pointing out, you can kind of push it down like this, and then you get the sword all set. So again, not that big of a deal. Not that big of a, not that hard to pose. Again, a little bit of tight, a little bit of tightness that I definitely want to take care of or make sure that there's nothing that's been uh, fused together because we have seen some joints with these figures that are fused together but i do like the fact that the nunchucks are pliable enough that you can just kind of pop them right up underneath there now what i don't like looking at this is that everything is like the same color there's just no paint apps to them i understand the camouflage that does take a lot away from it but everything is just this dull gray now we've heard a lot of the reviewers, a lot of the toy tubers uh, that do G.I. Joe kind of complain about the gray, and I'm with them. The gray just doesn't look that good. Now, it looks good on him. Now, I really do like the black. I think the black would have been a little bit better, but you got to give something that just adds some spice to it, just that draws away from it. And again, we don't want him to be bright like Copperhead over here, but to have some black accents to it, maybe a little bit of silver where you'd see a blade... That's just kind of where I, I think they, they kind of missed the mark. But anyway, there it is. That is Nunchuck. And I think he's actually pretty good. And like I said, I have no recollection of him. I picked up my first one just so I could kind of compare them. All right, so my final first thought on Nunchuck is I think he's actually a pretty good figure. I would have rather had more black on him or darker blacks or maybe a darker gray. Again, a little bit of paint apps just to accent a little bit. Again, you can see it uh, in the uh, headband that he does wear. It has some, it looks like it's brown. I think the figure looks good. I did have to hit the elbow with a little bit of heat, but that was it. No issues with the joint. They actually do feel good. It's not very soft. The weapons, I think, all feel really well, so, or feel stiff, which is a plus. The nunchucks, again, they're soft, but I can deal with that because the handles are going to be straight when he's actually using them. So there you go. That is uh, Nunchuck, man. Uh, again, fan channel exclusive or a toy store exclusive. Not going to find him at Target, Walmart, and places like that. All right. So go get him if you want him. He's got to be showing up really soon. Uh, again, I'm not sure when Amazon is shipping them. I don't know when Entertainment Earth is. Hasbro Pulse, so they say the middle of the month. I got it at Sarge in Red. John was wonderful. He posted. He put one on the side for me anyway, especially if he knows that I haven't gotten it yet. So anyway, thank you to Sarge in Red. So I'm going to get out of here, but I'll ask you, if you've been here this long, if you've seen the videos, if you enjoy the stuff that I'm, that I'm doing, social medias, remember, Punk With Toys, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I refuse to call it the X because that's a stupid name the facebook group page punks with toys because once you join you're a punk with toys and last but not least like i said you're still here take a second hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that bell notification so you're notified every time i do drop a gi joe video and this is for toy connections ken from toy connections that always says hey you know what i saw what you did there and what i do there is hey you know take a second watch this video up here it's going to be classified and here's the playlist of all the classified videos that i've done take care now